Welcome to Mill Spouse Matters, the podcast dedicated to encouraging military spouses. I'm your host, Jen McDonald, and I was a military spouse for nearly 30 years until my husband's retirement. I'm now the mom of four young adults, including one active duty son. I also wrote the book, You Are Not Alone, Encouragement for the Heart of a Military Spouse. Through my experiences, I came to believe that we're only stronger together. Whatever life is throwing your way as a military spouse, let's talk about it. Welcome to episode 100. Woohoo! I cannot believe we are here at episode 100. First off, thank you so much to all of you listeners who have been with me on this journey. We've come a long way. We've had some amazing guests, and I have also learned a lot personally. And keep listening for a big giveaway I'm doing to celebrate 100 episodes. So today's episode will be short, but first, here's a word from our sponsor. I don't know about you, but our family goes through a lot of avocados, and sometimes, well, that second half doesn't quite make it past being wrapped in plastic and stuck in the fridge. Enter Avocado Huggers. These adorable, easy-to-use alternatives to plastic wrap and plastic baggies make a great gift for the avocado lovers in your life, including you. Avocado prices are skyrocketing, so keeping that second half fresh enough to enjoy tomorrow is more valuable than ever. Avocado huggers are reusable, flexible-fitting silicone covers that fit over half an avocado to help put the brakes on the browning. They are dishwasher safe, and that means they're a more sustainable option than plastic wrap or aluminum foil. Avocado huggers are a practical and eco-friendly kitchen tool that can help you save money and reduce your environmental impact. By the way, the Avocado Hugger by Food Huggers is woman and inventor-owned. Food Huggers is a certified B Corps, which means their business has been thoroughly reviewed and found to be beneficial to the environment and the communities they work in. Avocado Huggers have thousands of five-star reviews on Amazon, and they have a lifetime warranty. National Avocado Day is on July 31st. So if you're an avocado lover like I am, make sure and get your avocado hugger today at the link in this episode's notes. Also, just a note about my upcoming book. My second book is coming out this fall, and I am so excited about it. It will be published by W Brand Publishing, and the title is Mill Spouse Matters, Sharing Strength Through Our Stories. By connecting to military spouses across the generations through the power of shared stories, Modern-day military spouses will find courage, confidence, and insight for their lives today. I do still have some openings on my book launch team if you're interested. You can find that link in this episode's notes. So back to celebrating 100 episodes. In the summer of 2018, I had just relocated across the country. My husband had recently retired from 31 years of active duty military service in the Air Force, and he had started his new job. After decades of our family of six moving around the world, one of my adult sons and his wife had moved back in with us temporarily, and my other daughter-in-law and my two-year-old granddaughter were staying with us for a few months while my oldest son was deployed, which meant we had quite a full house. Oh, and to make sure things had stayed interesting, we'd also recently gotten a new rescue dog. I was working full-time from home and had scrunched my desk into a corner of my bedroom since my office space was being lived in. So, of course, naturally, I started a podcast. Actually, two. I launched the Mill Spouse Matters podcast to encourage and provide resources for military spouses. And I was also the co host of a podcast called Reinventing Midlife with two of my friends. We did stop reinventing midlife the next year due to job and life changes for all of us and our scheduling issues because we lived in different places around the country. But it was a ball and we loved doing it. And since I can't ever just sit still, I also launched the Christian Mill Spouse podcast in September of 2022, and there will be more episodes of that one coming soon. I've had so many amazing guests on this podcast, and I will be highlighting them over the coming weeks on my social media. So be sure and stay connected with me there so you can find out more and maybe even find resources you haven't heard about before. I've also been a guest over the past few years on so many other podcasts like the Military Homeschool Podcast, the Boy Mom Podcast. The Spouse Angle, Dear Mill Family Podcast, the Old Army Wife Network Podcast, which is now called Mission Mill Spouse, and others. And at last count, and to my surprise, the Mill Spouse Matters Podcast has been listened to in dozens of countries across the world. It really has been so much fun. 
One of the best stories I think I had was I heard from a spouse in Canada who said, I am not an American military spouse, but I'm a Canadian military spouse. And I listen to your podcast while I'm going to sleep. And I had to laugh because I said, does that mean I'm boring? (laughs) But I think to her, it was just comforting and such a good way to connect with other people going through some of the same things. Honestly, back when I started this podcast, one of the reasons I went ahead and took the leap was because I had been a guest on so many other podcasts as I was promoting my first book launch. And I thought, hey, this seems fun. I had toyed with the idea before, and I was friends with several other podcasters who encouraged me to take the leap. And I'll tell you this, if you are thinking of starting a podcast, because I do hear that from a lot of you, yes, setting it up and getting it going is work, but it's honestly the easy part. Keeping a podcast going is the hard part. And as you know, if you've been a listener for any length of time, I do take breaks now. Back when I started off, I was trying to put an episode out every week, and that just became too much, and I got really burnt out. Because I also work for another company, Military by Owner Advertising. I've mentioned them before. I'm their content editor, and I'm also a freelance writer on the side, as well as having written and published two books. Over the years, I've been super blessed to have so much help from friends. My friend Lana helped me set up everything in the beginning when I first started and recommended tech and everything that I needed. My friend Tara, who has become my amazing podcast editor, and I could not do this without her anymore. It is just so much work. And now my own daughter, Anna, is helping me with show notes and other behind-the-scenes things. And the podcast community in general is such a supportive place, and I received so much help from so many different people. Now, if you go back and listen to those very first episodes, I do hope you'll give me some grace because I was definitely in a learning process. There were some incredible guests and even some great content, if I do say so myself, that I think could still be helpful to you even five years later. And in spite of the difference in how it probably sounds now. And yes, it did take me nearly five years to get to 100 episodes because during that time, we've had COVID, of course. We've been through some family tragedies. I lost my brother. We've had a lot of challenges and changes with our family. And so I've taken my time getting there, that's for sure. Going forward, I am really excited to be bringing you more amazing guests, interviews, and resources. And we'll probably be changing the format again, which we have done multiple times. And I appreciate your patience and hanging in there with it all. But at the heart of it all, I want you to know that this podcast is for you. It's to encourage and strengthen you in your military spouse life and what you're facing right now. And I'm always so thankful to hear from you all, whether it's an email or a message on Instagram or Facebook. I love it. I'd love to hear from you. If there's a topic you want to make sure we cover in the coming season, I am open to suggestions for sure. And if you're a longtime listener and you haven't done it yet, please do go drop us five stars in whatever podcast app you're using. That helps so, so much. Now, on to the big giveaway to celebrate 100 episodes. Watch my Instagram and Facebook in the coming days where you can get this bundle that I'm putting together. So one person will win all of these things. So enter to win this bundle, which includes a copy of all my current resources, which includes my five-day deployment devotional, which is digital, my book, You Are Not Alone, Encouragement for the Heart of a Military Spouse, either in print or Kindle edition, whichever you prefer, along with my brand new study guide for my book, You Are Not Alone, which is a digital download and was created with help from the amazing Tara from All of Fox Design. Also in this big giveaway bundle, you'll get three books from my publisher, W Brand Publishing, including books by military spouses, Julie Tully and Brunella Costagliola, who have both been on my show in the past, and I will link to their episodes. They're amazing military spouse writers and another book still to be determined. That's a total of three books plus my book and my other resources, along with a $25 Amazon gift card. So make sure to enter. This is my gift to you to celebrate 100 episodes. So enter and share this amazing giveaway. I just want to say thank you again for listening, for being there, for caring about me and my family, for reaching out, for continuing to support this podcast. I sit in my office at home. I'm alone. I'm talking to a microphone. Sometimes I'm talking to a guest over Zoom or another platform, but it really is kind of a very isolated experience to podcast and put it out there in the world. And sometimes you don't know if it's resonating or hitting people the way you intend it. So I really appreciate you listening and all your feedback over the years. And I hope going forward, we'll have at least 100 more. We'll see, right? (laughs) Life is nothing if not changeable. 
Thanks so much for listening. And remember, no matter where in the world you are, whether you're a military spouse, military parent, or someone else, you are brave, you are strong, and you have got this. I'll talk to you next time. Thanks for listening to the Mill Spouse Matters podcast. Connect with me at millspousematters.com or on social media as at millspousematters. You can find my book, You Are Not Alone, Encouragement for the Heart of a Military Spouse on Amazon and other booksellers. Love the show? Please leave a five-star review in whatever podcast player you're listening and then share it with someone else who could use it too. Until next time, have a great week.